right, friends. Uh, here's the promised ink swatching video for my San Francisco Pin Show ink purchases. I'm filming this directly after the other one, but I'll probably let it wait a couple days. We'll see. So we don't inundate folks. Um, I'm really excited to see these. <laughs> you know, I... I'm gonna get a thing. <laughs> Just this one, I could not wait. I opened this with a butter knife at a restaurant. <laughs> Let me get a thing to cut this open. Okay, got my knife. So, I am excited. This this color, I think, is not like my preferred color of pink. But what does that even mean anymore? Um, there is an ink that's missing from here, if you will. I don't know if you've heard, but the rumor is, and maybe actually confirmed and not rumor, that um, Pilot is getting rid of the Iroshizuku Tsutsuji, which you know is like my favorite pink. Maybe you don't know, but it is my favorite pink. Um, and... That's a bummer. What am I gonna do? So, it's fine. Y'all, I'll use it up and it'll be gone and there will be another pink that's equally amazing. That's what I decided because originally I had thought maybe I'll buy a bottle if I see it, but they had it and I decided, nah. So let's get started. I'm gonna try and do the lightest to the darkest, maybe see how this goes so first up color verse think pink this is a van nest special wait did i you just can't win with these they must be afraid people are gonna like that the ink is gonna escape or something because you just can't win okay calm down Zoom in. Think pink. So, this is going to be nice for me. For the record, I already lit this a little bit. So that we don't, we know it'll work. Arnold is in the next room. He is fighting some sort of evil that has taken residence somewhere for the second time. Um, we wish him luck on in his endeavors. Think pink. Lovely. Verse times Van Ness. I got it in there just barely. And I'm going to write that here real quick. Let's clean now the nib. Let's paint. So 
initial thoughts are this is what I would call more of like a rose or blush color. Probably pretty dry. I don't know if you saw. I tried to make that as full of brush as possible, but it doesn't want to spread. watching in last week's week in the weeks <clears throat> okay rinse 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 uh, you only need two jars of ink here but I have I have but the one and here's the label pink pink with the broken box. It's fine. Then the Venta and Enigma. I think this says Palacipan. This just says Enigma 2023. Ugh, 2023. Wait, is there shimmer in this? I hope that's shimmer. Otherwise, there's something funky in this bottle. Imagine hand wrapping all these bottles like this. You shake that a little. This ink is definitely not escaping. Wrapped in wrapped in plastic. It's fantastic. Metal foily thing. Mm. Go back in there. Look at that. Let's just like smash it right there. Is it any wonder I got this ink? Are any of you surprised? Also, somehow I managed to like get it all over the place. No one's surprised about that part either. Okay, one more gentle rolling of ink to make sure anything on the bottom is no longer just on the bottom and is throughout. I gotta make sure I spell this right. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, lovely, lovely. I think this is like a little 
bluer than I remember it, which is actually amazing for me because I love the bluer aquas a little more than I love the greener aquas. <clears throat> oh, that's here. We needed to do that. Venta plus. Enigma 2023. I don't know if I feel weird about that because it's 2024, but I don't think so because I think you can only get so much ink and maybe they had more left than they realized. I don't remember seeing this last year at the Enigma booth though. It's possible I missed it. They also had a collaboration pin with Mayfair pins that was this lovely mix of like apricot and some other stuff. Very bright, um, more subtle uh, pen shape, but lovely. Oh, this water is like the most beautiful shade of like light purple right now. I don't know if that's coming through. I am getting the sheen or the shading. I should, shimmer, Maria. Shimmer. Love it. Next, we will do the pen show exclusive. San Francisco Bay. Oh, I didn't, I knew I was forgetting something. Why didn't y'all tell me? I can't believe you. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. So, Ventus Shimmer is Sometimes eyeshadowy, not my fave. We'll see what I think of this in a pen when we finally get it in one. Now we can put this away. Now we can do the color verse. Don't let me forget again, y'all. <clears throat> I gave away samples of this already. There's one more sample to make. For Manta. I was gonna try and get her a bottle, but couldn't get more than one card. Also, the bay is not this pretty. <laughs> the bay is so silty that it's usually like this gross brownish color. <clears throat> I 
I'm like covering it. I, Maria, I don't know. Some people would like an ink the color of the, San, the actual San Francisco Bay. I am not one of those people. I was looking at my footage from my uh, other camera and I tried to get a, a, do a walkthrough of the show. And unfortunately, I did something wrong and the camera <laughs> zoomed in and all you see throughout the video was a bunch of the lights on the ceiling <laughs> just like dang it bummer so no shots of that and I think actually most of us were far more in the moment with the show because you you really have a choice you either enjoy what you're experiencing or you chronicle what you're experiencing and you don't really take things in and form the same kinds of memories if you're looking through a viewfinder or you're focused on um, what your camera lens is seeing. And I, I don't regret my choice to just be in the moment there. It is a bummer about um, the video I tried to take not working. But again, whatever. It was just trying to show how packed it was on Saturday. This actually maybe reminds me of one of the wet paint colors I just got. Maybe I'll grab some for comparisons. I think I thought I had my little coloring cards, but maybe I already put those away. Um, then, Sailor. US, I'm assuming this is like US Pen Show 2022. That's what I will call it. I'll call it Pen Show Exclusive 2022. What is happening? Yeah, this is exactly my kind of color. I'm gonna find out if Manda has it because I think she'll also appreciate it. Um, so I'll get her a swag, a sample I mean. Ugh. I'm probably just gonna write Pen Show 2022 on this card. I'm not writing the word exclusive. Just don't be mad. It's my card and I'm allowed to do what I want. I, I second guessed myself. I was about to try and write the word exclusive, but then I remembered how much I hate writing on this. And then I didn't. There. I like that. I like that solution. Thinking something, something box. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Of course. G. 
chest. What I like is the three inks I got are like relatives, but they're none of them identical twin. I do love these overpriced little sailor bottles. Then we'll do this Schaefer, this unknown color. And we say Schaefer, but then I realize it, it's like Schaefer. And I remember because you can have a sheaf of papers. <laughs> Trying to remember the spelling. This sure as heck looks like a blue black. I'm gonna call it blue black. How do I feel about saying that? How do you feel like de decreeing that? I feel like I better go look on my computer. Okay, I'm almost certainly right about it being blue black because it's neither blue nor is it black. Also, it's a different bottle than most people have, so it might be kind of an old bottle. I might test this out. Maybe this can become my fountain pen testing ink. You know, like the way some people use Waterman inspired blue. I'll, I'll look into it. Is that the name of the ink that they use? Some, this morning, I thought of some reason. Oh, I remembered again. I got a tomato from the store, and it got mushed, I think, on the on the way home. And now it's, like, bad. It was, like, an expensive heirloom tomato. And so I'm like, how do I make it so that these don't get crushed on the way home? And I thought, oh, I should get, like, a plastic container to put them in. And that's when I realized that basically I need one of the... Um, empty ice cream containers from the store to put these tomatoes in. So I have to go buy ice cream later. Um, yeah. So I might do that. <laughs> and then I was like, ooh, but what I want, I usually get peppermint stick, a pink peppermint. And, but maybe I should get the butterscotch marble instead, which is basically like uh, vanilla with caramel ribbons. This has this weird white dot. I got it, everybody. I know you're relieved for me. Um, what would be your vote? between those two flavors. And overall, what would be your vote for ice cream flavor? Ink wiring minds need to know. <laughs> uh. 
but for real, I'm curious. And lastly, but never leastly, lastly, the ink I bought firstly. <laughs> San Francisco 2024. Inside the bottle, it looks almost like a dark lilac. Mm -hmm. But it's not. I bought this, they didn't even have a swatch of it at, when I picked it out. I'm like, whatever, I'm getting it, it doesn't matter. Cool. Whoa, 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 the water is doing some funky stuff. This feels like it might be a pretty nicely lubricated ink. I wonder if the story is why they picked this color. I should have asked. <laughs> ah, say hubby. Kind of a brown color, but red. What I love is like this ink is very much like one of these things is not like the other. Because even the pink seems to somehow belong. This definitely not. Mm. But you are seeing what I was hoping would come out. <clears throat> Which is the sheen on the lettering. You can see it right here, the greenish sheen. Anyway, this is the inks. This is the collection of inks. So I'll pause for a moment, give things a little chance to dry, get my swatch card uh, book, and we'll come back. Okay, it really has only been a moment. We're going to zoom out. And... We'll still let things dry. So first we'll look at Think Pink. And looking through mine, it looks like it's not, the closest I have is maybe Wearing Gold Floating Cloud, which is warmer and dustier. So 
Here it is next to Tsutsuji, but my swatch card of Tsutsuji is old and not very good. Lamy Vibrant Pink. Folkery Pink, definitely not that. So, and here is um, Shikiori Sakura Mori, definitely not that. So, let's see, we have, I got that wearing goal this year. Let's see if we can find this swatch. On this paper here it is floating cloud it's not really that close it is the closest I have though <clears throat> so that's think pink beautiful um, then we'll look at palasipan which Let's see, where are these inks in here? Random price sticker. This is the one I was thinking it's like, but bluer. So per Kerno Cove, which I love. This is a bluer version with shimmer. And if I compare it to Something like Venta Violets or Blue, you can definitely see it's more teal than that. Um, and say next to like Lamy Turquoise, it's greener than that. I don't have anything exactly like it, which pleases me, especially with the sheen. Oh, but or shimmer. I can give you the close up now. The shimmer is very subtle. Maybe you can see it. Here it is here. Yeah, I think the shimmer comes across better there. Although it's looking almost greenish to me on the camera. The shimmer in person has that like light violet pinky color to it. Now, San Francisco Bay. How different it looks here to here to me. But my immediate thought was that wet penning. Diablo Lake, not at all. Let's see what other colors we've got. Elliot Bay, bluer. This one maybe not too far off, Yodo. Which if you look up what this is, it makes sense that they could be similar because it's another, this is a water type thing that happens. Edelstein Aquamarine. Actually, this is pretty close. Or Aquamine, because it's my Aquamarine. Yeah, this is gonna be the closest so far. Aquamine. <laughs> and here's the Sailor Pintro exclusive for 2022. This. Colorverse Dope Doe. Pretty similar, not the same. Dokto is one of my favorites and it comes in a small bottle, so I'm not sad to have a bigger bottle. I think that's it. Shave for blue black. I don't maybe humpback whale. Let's see. Here it is next to Diablo Lake. Nope. By the way, here's the Kiwi Pin Show Ink from last year. Very lubricated. No. Okay. 
No. Yeah, here's humpback whale. The camera's exaggerating the difference between them, but this is bluer. 75 ton rocket engine. And we've stalled for time long enough that here's the dried or mostly, mostly um, pin show ink card. You can see really heavy green sheen. On this paper, not quite as much. I, I love it here. It kind of is giving, is it all the best? That won't be in here. Diamine all the best was a ink bit ink and they're not in here and I'm not gonna get up to go get it. But what does that mean for? Oh no, it is here, all the best. Similar, so all the best has a shimmer to it. These are sort of similar, this is pinker. Writer's blood. It's not too dissimilar. So if you're bummed, know that some other colors are close enough. Well, I mean, that depends on your definition of close enough, doesn't it? I can't say that because maybe yours doesn't match mine. So here they are, here's all the inks together. And I love, well, I don't love this as part of the color story. I do love the inks. They're, they're quite nice. So what I didn't say in my pin show video is I inked up one of my pins. I've already lost it right here. I inked up this one with Diablo Lake. That's the funny thing. I brought a wet pen ink with me to the show to ink a pen rather than use a pen show ink because I really wanted to. And I put the journal nib on this and I wrote with that. Here's the original swatch of Diablo Lake. This is it with the journal nib. So, what am I inking next? Obviously, I need to ink this pen. In some ways, this would be the perfect ink for it, right? Because it's shimmery, but I'm not gonna put a shimmer in here. I might go with the San Francisco Bay. I actually think that's a pretty good match. So I might ink this up. But, I might put my monarch nib on here. Not sure yet. Maybe I'll put that on another pen because then it's like I get three new pens. We'll see. So anyway, thanks for hanging out, swatching with me. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.